Hello and thank you for watching today's unboxing and assembly video. In today's video, we're going to unbox and assemble the Afikim Afiscooter Model S with a dual wide ortho captain's seat. This scooter is equipped with an upgraded seat that can handle two people. It's 33 inches wide. All you need to get started is something sharp to cut the pallet straps. The scooter will arrive fully assembled on a pallet with a cardboard box completely encased around the scooter. All you need to do is get the box and lift it straight up as shown here in the video. So again, just cut the pallet straps, remove the lid, and then shimmy the box. It helps to have two people. If you shimmy the box straight up, you can use one person, but it's a lot easier with two. As you can see, the scooter comes pretty much fully assembled with some plastic sheeting around the entire scooter. There's also some straps that you'll need to cut with a sharp knife carefully that secure the base footrest down to the pallet. Now we're showing you here that in order to expose the headrest, you'll need to lift the seat up and the headrests go in just like any normal automobile seat. There are two bars that slide into the holes on the backrest of the seat and there's a little compression tab on one of the holes that you'll need to push to adjust the height of the headrest. So the height of the headrests are adjustable just like in an automobile seat. Now on the tiller assembly, also known as the handlebar assembly, there is a tab towards the right side that you need to push down in order to lift the tiller assembly. That tab is used to adjust the tilt angle of the handlebar assembly. Once you do that, you should be able to expose the rear cargo locking storage. And as an exclusive offer from Mobility Direct, we do include an Afikim Affy kit, which includes a cleaning rag, a keychain, and a weatherproof cover. The keys are zip tied to the right handlebar. Go ahead and cut them off and put the key in the ignition. Give it a slight turn clockwise to go ahead and turn the scooter on. Before rolling the scooter off the pallet, you want to get the armrests out, which are under the scooter towards the rear, and then take a knife and you'll want to cut the tape that's holding the user manual bag that also contains the charger and the mirrors inside of a box, which we're showing you now. You'll need to get under the scooter with a knife or a pair of scissors to cut the tape that's holding it to the base of the scooter. And that box again contains some of the accessories and the user manual. Now what we're doing is we're using a crowbar to completely get rid of that block that's behind the front tires. That block is nailed to the pallet. There's actually two blocks, one behind the front wheel and one in front of the front wheel. They're pretty long pieces of wood that are nailed to the pallet, so you would benefit from using a mallet and a crowbar to pop those bars right out, and that's gonna allow you to roll the scooter right off of the pallet easily. In our experience, this is the easiest way to do it, especially if you only have one person. So we're just popping off those blocks that are keeping the scooter on the pallet as a safety feature there, now the, the scooter in itself has a parking brake feature which you'll have to release the brake lever in the rear. There's a little sticker on the rear side of the scooter towards the right side and if you reach underneath the body panel where the lights are on the rear of the scooter, you'll find that lever which is going to be used to release the automatic braking system. There are no brake levers that you need to use for this scooter. It has automatic brakes just like most medical grade scooters. So we're just taking our time here removing those wooden tire blocks so that we can again roll this scooter right off of the pallet with ease. Dustin here is showing us that you can literally just roll it right off or use the power if you want to turn it on and just use the power to scoot it forward using the motor. And that's what he's doing here, carefully, making sure that it doesn't just jump off too abruptly. But essentially, you can use the scooter's power to carefully roll it right off. It has plenty of ground clearance, so it's not going to get caught on the pallet on the way down. Now we're just cleaning up here, getting rid of the pallet to make some room, and we'll continue with the assembly process. There's really not much assembly required. You will need to install the armrest, just like most mobility scooters. The armrests do have a port or a sleeve rather that you'll slide the rail into. And there are tension adjustment knobs in the back, which you'll want to tighten once you have the armrest set at the desired width. So you can adjust the width by sliding the armrest 
inwards or outwards and then tightening those tension adjustment knobs to keep them in place. Now you'll notice there's a bar assembly behind the seat and that's used to attach the locking storage to that bar. When you open the locking storage, you're gonna find a little plastic bag with some hardware. It has some washers, some bolts, and some nuts. You'll wanna go ahead and fish the washer onto the bolt first, and then fish the bolt with the washer through the inside hole of the cargo container, and then fish that bolt through the hole on the bar assembly or the frame rather that the locking storage attaches to. And then just go ahead and put the bolt on the backside, finger tight at first. And usually what we do after putting all the bolts through by hand and locking the nuts on just with finger tight strength, we'll come back with the drill and tighten everything up on a low torque setting to avoid cracking the plastic on the rear locking storage. Usually whenever you attach something that's made out of plastic to something metal, you don't want to over tighten it or else you might crack the plastic uh, that's used to, to manufacture this rear locking storage. So again, if you are going to use a drill, we recommend putting it on a very low torque setting and that will help speed up the process of attaching this rear locking storage to the rear of the scooter. So as you can see here, we're putting the torque setting on low and just using a set of pliers on the rear side to hold the nut in place while we go ahead and just tighten up all four of those bolts and nuts. And this rear locking storage will come with keys. So again, you can lock it, keep your belongings safe in there. Uh, there is another locking storage in the front of the scooter as well, which we'll show you next. But as you can see, the rear locking storage comes with a two-tone color with the base black and the lid is going to match the color of the scooter that you order. This is another free accessory that we include upon request. You also get mirrors and we're going to show you how to install the mirrors now. Uh, the mirrors have threading on it with two nuts. What you want to do is raise the bottom nut up a little bit and then just use the threading to kind of screw the mirror into the holes on the handlebar assembly towards the front. On the right and left side, you'll see holes with threading and you just wanna screw that mirror into place until you really can't screw anymore. Uh, and then start to rotate that bottom nut until you're able to find that when you tighten it, it stops at the desired point that you want that mirror to be set at. Then you're gonna to wanna to grab a pair of pliers and really tighten down those nuts the top one should be sandwiched on the bottom one and you should have them all the way tightened clockwise until you can't really tighten anymore. And that's going to keep your mirror locked into place and prevent it from rotating uh, as you ride your scooter over bumpy terrain for weeks and months to come. You may need to tighten them again in the future depending on how well you tighten them. There is a little cover that slides down to just cover those uh, nuts that are silver to kind of give it a more clean finish. So once you're done with that, just pull that little sleeve over the nuts and it gives it a really nice look when it's all said and done. Uh, what we're doing now is just rinsing and repeating with the left side mirror. Uh, you can flex the mirrors in different directions so you can get that mirror at the right angle that, that's going to allow you to see behind you and keep you safe while driving. You should really only use these scooters on sidewalk, grass. Do not ride these scooters on the main road. That's not what the mirrors are for. It's very dangerous to do so. So stay off the main road with vehicular traffic, automobiles, and stick to the sidewalk. Bike lanes might be okay. Check your local street laws just to be sure. Now we're showing you that release lever that we were talking about earlier. If you reach under the right-hand side, there's a lever, and that's going to allow you to put it into... Uh, brake mode, which is also known as drive mode, or freewheel mode to push it manually. Now on the controls, starting from the right side, we have a forward and reverse switch in red. Underneath that, we have a half speed and a full speed switch, which is in gray. And towards the top, we have an automatic release for the automatic braking systems to temporarily be released. Now where we're showing you now, there's that tab, that black tab, which you push down and it allows you to control the tilt of your steering bar. You can tilt it forward or back. There's a charging port to the left of the ignition and two USB charging ports, which you can use to charge your electronic devices. The blue switch is for the headlights. 
The switch in front of that is for the hazard lights. Now you've got a toggle switch for your turn signals and then two horn buttons, one on the left and one on the right. The horn's not too loud, but it works pretty well. You have two cup holders and a very ergonomic handlebar setup, as well as a front locking storage, which we mentioned earlier. Overall, this scooter is one of our favorite off-road mobility scooters. It's super powerful with one of the most powerful motors that we offer. You can get this scooter with many upgrades. Check out our website, mobilitydirect.com, to learn more. And if you like this video, please give it a like, share the video, and leave any questions you have in the comment section below. If you want to get notified when new videos come out just like this one, make sure to also subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified when new videos come out just like this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.